Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Witton Bassett in the UK. Can you believe it's June already? We are halfway through the year. It's been flying by. In today's video though, we're going to be looking through the coin releases and coin news we learned about throughout the month of May. Not so long ago, in a galaxy very close, we found out on Star Wars Day, May the 4th, that the Royal Mint will be producing a range of Star Wars coins. This will include four different designs mint in a range of coins, including four 50p coins. This was a bit of a surprise, as the Royal Mint has historically only minted British themes onto British coins, and although some actors, locations, and film studios used in the franchise have been British, Star Wars really isn't a British institution. Although this might concern some collectors, it does have the real opportunity to attract the fans of one of the world's biggest franchises to coin collecting. We have found out what the four designs will be, with a pairing of iconic characters. We start off with C-3PO and R2-D2 the droids, the only characters who have featured in all of the main saga films. In fact, the actor who played C-3PO has appeared in all of the Star Wars films so far. Bonus points if you spotted him in Solo. There will also be a coin for the villains, featuring Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Again, two characters played by British actors. So long as you count David Prowse, who wore the armoured costume, although didn't end up voicing the character. The villains will be followed up by sibling heroes, apologies I guess that is a spoiler, but only if you've been living under a rock since 1977. Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker will be paired up for a coin of their own. Finally, Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca will also have their own coin design too. We don't know much about how the coins will look other than a depiction of the two characters for each coin along with the word Star Wars. Hopefully the Royal Mint will follow the precedent set by the Harry Potter coins which were released in 2022 and 2023. So when the first coin goes on sale hopefully we will get some concept art that the coin designs are being based off of. Will they go into circulation though? To be honest we don't know, but given previous precedents I have a bad feeling that they won't. If they do go into circulation though that would be a huge boom for collectors. Imagine everyone who would start looking for them in their change, discovering all the other commemorative designs, it might just spark off a new interest in numismatics. But we live in hope. We don't exactly know when the coins are set to be released or how many will be minted, but if it's a staggered release, one design at a time, then they really do need to engage their hyperdrives as this year is running out of time fast. Be sure to check the link in the description of this video over to our website so that when the coins come out you can come and get them at Royal Mint prices but with free postage on the day that they're released. There was also the release of a new coin exclusive to the Royal Mint experience. It is the third coin in a series of £5 coins which has seen designs from the old round pound released on the bigger canvas of a £5 coin. So far the Red Dragon of Wales and the Celtic Talk or Celtic Cross have featured representing Wales and Northern Ireland and it was the turn of England next with the three lions and we can assume that sometime later this year the lion rampant of Scotland will be minted. As I said though this coin is a Royal Mint experience exclusive so you can only get it by visiting the Royal Mint headquarters in Llantrisant, South Wales. Moving slightly further afield to the Isle of Man, news hit the headlines this month that they are considering scrapping the penny, two pence and five pence coins over there. It's still early in the consultation period with findings due out in late June. The change would see prices being either rounded up or down to the closest 10 pence, although I'm sure many people will jump on this and expect a rise in prices thanks to it. So why are they looking to scrap the shrapnel? Partly due to inflation, as everything gets more expensive, the purchasing power of the lower denominations reduces and reduces until a point where you'd need a whole handful of them to be able to make even the smallest of purchases. Alongside this is the cost to mint the coins themselves. As the cost of metal increases, the cost of powering machines increases, and the cost to transport the coin increases, that means it just doesn't make sense to spend near or more to the value of a coin just to make it. 
It was only a few years ago that the idea was floated in the UK and the country went a little bit mad. So the thought was shelved, but countries like Canada, Belgium and Australia have already successfully done away with their small change. So is this move a certain eventuality? We'll have to wait and see. The next innovation in science coin was also announced. This series of coins celebrating British scientists used to be minted on the 50 pence coin, but 2022's Alan Turing 50p saw an end to the series on that denomination. It has since moved to the two pound coin instead. It began with the Alexander Graham Bell two pound coin back in 2022 and has continued into 2023 with the Edward Jenner two pound coin. And later in 2023, we will see another addition, Ada Lovelace. The Royal Proclamation announcing this coin describes the design as a depiction of computer punch cards accompanied by the inscription Ada Lovelace Computer Visionary 1815 to 1852, a discoverer of the hidden realities of nature. The edge inscription will read as Innovation in Science, Lovelace. She was the only legitimate child of Lord and Lady Byron, but her work in mathematics and computing is what puts her on the two pound coin. The Music Legend series is set to add two more acts to their lineup. We already knew that the police would be the next band to be honored with a coin of their own, but we didn't know until last month that we will finally have some female representation in this long running series. The first female artist to be included in the Music Legends collection is Dame Shirley Bassey. As a side note, she was the top of my list of female British music legends, so you can applaud my insight right now. With an instantly recognisable voice and iconic songs which will be referenced on the design, she also hails from Cardiff, a mere half an hour down the road from the Royal Mint, so I'm sure they'll be very proud to be minting the Welsh songstress onto the coins very soon. The design has been described as a depiction of the silhouette of Dame Shirley Bassey, accompanied by the inscription Dame Shirley Bassey and the song titles Goldfinger, Moonraker and Diamonds Are Forever. One day into June, so technically not part of our May roundup, but silly to not include it as it has now come out, is the latest 50p from the Royal Mint. June 1st saw the release of the NHS 50p. You may think you've already seen this coin, and that's because you might have done, because it was part of the 2023 annual commemorative coin set. But each coin from that set will get their own individual release throughout this year, and the NHS 50p is the second to come out. It celebrates the 75th anniversary of the NHS and has been designed by Alice Ledyard, a senior designer at the Royal Mint. With words in the background of the coin which outline the virtues of our National Health Service, surrounding the more bolder and clearer National Health Service 75. The coin has been released in base metal, brilliant uncirculated standard, silver proof, silver PA foot, which is double the thickness of a standard silver proof coin, and also gold proof as well. We are getting many inquiries about two more expected releases too, and sadly we have no more news on them. That is the new one pound coin design, the first change in the design since the coin was revamped back in 2017. Also the definitive or non-commemorative coins for 2023. We do know that they are being produced as when the commemoratives were released at the start of the year, it was confirmed, but we have no idea when they will be minted or as many suspect, if there will be a change in the designs, we will just have to wait and see. So, May ended up being a bit quieter for coin releases, but it was chock-a-block full of news about the new coins we're going to get our hands on later this year. I'd love to know in the comments which coins you're looking forward to the most. Be sure to check out the links in the description of this video over to our website and subscribe to our YouTube channel too. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post pictures of our coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.